finally sat down and watched all four John Wick movies. Yeah, I watched all four of them. Three on Sunday and yesterday. Time I put this up on Wednesday tomorrow. But chapter four. So when it comes to John Wick movies, I've never seen them in cinemas and. Tell you the truth, I wasn't that really interested when the first one came out. I just thought it looks like a generic action movie. And I've seen some couple of trailers and some people talk about it. And a few people I know at work has been telling me about this. And they keep on asking me saying, have you seen John Wick? Have you seen John Wick? Have you seen the John Wick films? Have you seen them? I said no. And everyone's shocked. They're saying, boss, you're a big movie fan. You love movies. You love everything. But why have you haven't seen John Wick? So I decided to give this one a watch. And... I haven't seen nine of them in the cinemas, and after watching them, all four of them, in the past few days, I honestly regretted not seeing them in the cinemas, because I feel bad not seeing those films, because these are the type of movies you want to see on the big screen. I think mean, that's what it should have been from the start for me. I should have seen them from the start, since the first one, and including the sequels that came after that. It's just... It's so sad for me. I'm not going to talk about Chapter 4, but I will talk about the franchise as a whole. Uh, I will mention about the acting and throughout as well. Um, personally, I love all of them. I think all of them have been great. Um, as far as my favourite out of the bunch, it's Chapter 4 because I like a satisfying conclusion. And this is probably the nicest way to wrap up John Wick's character and, of course, the whole Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves is an actor I am not the biggest fan of. I don't hate the guy. I respect him. He isn't like the greatest actor. He just plays that same old Keanu Reeves uh, performance, but in a good way. He just plays it like himself. It's kind of like Vin Diesel, like he was in the Fast and the Furious movies. Keanu Reeves as John Wick is just top notch. And from all the franchise been throughout, from his performance, and you see John Wick's character, what you've seen from the first film, and uh, lean up to... The fourth is is character growth throughout. It's just really simple how this film goes. Like the first movie, the story is very simple. It has a simple plot, but it's very unique in a great way because it has a deep complex of this crime syndicate and the criminal underworld and the world building has been built up throughout the sequels. It's just, it's so immersive. It's so unique from the visual standpoint and the cinematography and from the writing and the action scenes here are top notch. We'll talk about the action in a moment, but we'll talk about the rest of the cast. So you have Keanu Reeves, John Wick, and of course you do have Lawrence Fishburne as Browie, I think that's the character's name, who is the king, a uh, former underground crime boss who left for death by the high table. And now he's sponsored for John Wick, because for the time for me, I thought he's a villain, then comes back to being a good guy. And of course, we do have the same thing. The same other actor, Ian McShane, who plays Winston Scott, who is basically a friend John Wick, but in the third film, he gets treasure off the building, but I thought, okay, he's going to be the main villain for the fourth film. But no, he's back to being the good guy. So he's he's basically on and off his friendship with John Wick, and I thought I was really handled well done. I thought it was excellent. Of course, and from the fourth film, I do have a favorite character in the fourth one is... Kane, played by Don Yen, who is a blind high table assassin, an old friend of John Wick. Uh, of course, from that moment, I, he's played a, a second blind character because he played a blind character in Rogue One. He was in Rogue One, if you don't remember. Of the late Lord Redrick as Cryon, who is a fantastic actor, and of course, may he rest in peace. He's basically Felicia's Fox from the uh, Batman movies is Bruce Wayne's Lucius Fox. But let's just get out of the way for that, for example. It's like, throughout action pack, there's tons of action, tons of kick-ass moments, especially with Wick shooting the guys up. The first one is kind of like, yep, straightforward. And people thought, okay, how are they going to do the sequels? And the sequels, the, the action gets better, real tense up. And it's just constant action throughout, uh, for most of the film. It does slow down, get into the story and the characters a little bit. It's not just bang, 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 shoot, 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 blood, 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 gore, gore, gore fest. And of course, we do have the scene with John Wick and riding the horse in the first film where he's just riding the horse in the New York City. Getting chased. That isn't the scene. How amazing. On top of that, we do get a great action scene 
or uh, Live View, which is a fantastic moment. It was the Google Maps or Google Earth thing. And you see John Wick shooting, got his big blaster gun. And it shoots fireballs or blasts them and it turns people into fire. And it's just amazing scene. It is jaw dropping. Through the action scenes, it's just jaw dropping. I was cringing, but I was out of it. It's so good. It was just honestly to the point where I was cringing to the bone with pains and oh, raunches in there. It's just like these actions are just getting better in each one because it's just so good. As far as cinematography wise, uh, cinematography is absolutely stellar. Especially, the cinematography gets better in each one of them, especially the fourth one, which is, has beautiful shots, especially in Paris in the fourth movie. It's just so unique. It's so well done. It was such a great as far as the directing go, it's directed by, I think I pronounced the name there correctly, uh, Chad Starksqueaks, I think I pronounced the director's name wrong, I do apologise. I'll put in the thing in there if you want to see the name out. The visual style here is absolutely terrific. It's just a visually gorgeous looking movie that you don't see much in action films. Yes, it's an action movie action packed, but this is an action thriller crime drama for the criminal underworld syndicate. It's just a beautiful piece of art of cinema, which honestly, I would watch this again because I was really entertained by it. So, I really enjoy John Wick. I think it's just a great set of movies. I don't recommend it enough. And if you have not seen John Wick, like me, you've not seen cinemas, and you've not seen them, go watch them. I think you'll have a good time with this one. This is just a way how to make a good action movie with Keanu Reeves in it. It's just so good, so entertaining. It's probably the best action movies in the series. And probably probably the best ones I've seen, besides Mission Impossible. As much as I love the MCU and Star Wars, this is the type of film I like to see more often. I think that's the kind of films I like to see. So if I was just reviewing John Wick Chapter 4, I will say, for my rating, it would have been Cinematic Masterpiece. That's my rating for that. But yeah, I really love John Wick Chapter 4. I think it's even the whole franchise. I love these films. I love these movies. I just think they're great. Do not be disappointed. It is definitely worth your time watching. Okay, guys, comment down below. What do you think of the John Wick films? What's your favourite? And tell me what's your favourite moment. Uh, who's your favourite character? Hey, for the spin-off film that's coming out next year with Anna Diamas that's coming out. I'm kind of curious to see that. I will be buying those babies in 4K to my collection. Thanks so much for watching guys, like, comment, subscribe, hit that icon and bell for more future videos like this. If you're new here, you can also uh, wish to buy me something in the Amazon wish list. it's down in the description down below. And of course follow me on X or Twitter it's originally called, I just call it for Twitter. And of course follow me on Letterbox as well so you can follow my reviews and my general thoughts on certain films. Of course guys, until next time, see ya!